Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim Scoggle and today we'll be taking a look at how you can import your uh, files, folders, your media into Digicam. It's a little bit different than Adobe Bridge. It's kind of similar to Lightroom, but then again, it's completely different. And uh, it's since it's database system here, but I'm going to show you how you can add it after you set it up the first time. If you have get a new drive or something you want to add to it, it's pretty easy, straightforward. And I'm going to show you a quick example of how I organize using uh, Digicam. Uh, but I have found a better way, a faster way to organize um, organized by year, date, and so on, and I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial. Uh, but if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below if you like Digicam or not, or what's your favorite part about Digicam. So let's just get to it. So here we are inside uh, Digicam. You can see here that I have my albums here, or collections as they call them, and I want to add one more. So what you need to do is go up to settings, go here to uh, uh, configure Digicam, and you're going to see under database, that's where you have your database stored. Collections is where you want to be. So local collection, that's anything you have on your C drive, basically, your um, your main computer hard drive. Under collections on removable media, that is your external drives, flash drives, and that sort of stuff. And then you have collections on network shares, which is network drives, RAID systems, uh, NAS systems, that sort of stuff. So we're gonna focus on this collections of on removable media. All you gotta do is click add collections. Now you gotta go to where you have stored your folder you want to import your um, media file. Mine is going to be here and I'm going to take this one for iPhone pictures and I'm going to hit choose and now you're going to see a new collection will be created with the name iPhone pictures. You can change the name here if you don't like it and storage media can be uniquely identified. Hit OK. You're going to see it appear here. Hit OK. It's going to take a little bit. You get this dialog box up. You can see we're already at 89% here. And there it showed up over here with 374 images so far. It should be 754, I believe. So once this reaches 100%, we have uh, officially gotten all our uh, photos imported. There you go, 757. That's the number I was looking for. It was done in 26 seconds. If you hit this plus button, now you can see we have three folders here. So we have iPhone pictures. Then I have iPhone move and then iPhone organized photos. We don't have to care about these ones because I'm going to use those in the next tutorial. But let's say we see we have photos from 2016 all the way up to 2018. So if I were, the way I would organize my photos uh, using just Digicam is I would go here on iPhone 6, I would hit a new uh, album, then I would hit 2016 because that's when these photos were made. Uh, the year photos uh, was taken. So hit enter. So now we have 2016. Go on 2016, right click or control N. Now you can say October, the month photos was taken. So now you can see we have gotten this one here. And under October here, I would have the project name. So let's say. Uh, New Orleans ST Lou is Cathedral. I'm not entirely sure if I spell Cathedral right, but who cares? That you don't need to judge my uh, spelling. And here you could add pictures from ST L Nola. Cool. 
So now if you open up this, you see we have those pictures here. And now we're gonna mark this, right click on it, and we would add raw. If I had raw files like my CR2s, my CR3s from my Canon cameras, you can add that in here from uh, Canon raw files. That way you're just keeping everything nice and organized. So go back to New Orleans there, or whatever you call your mod, uh, uh, your folder, and now you can add select then there's a light. select the photos for retouching now you can see our selection there now we're going to make the master folder and this is Now you can see we have the re, uh, so, uh, master here, and then we're going to add one more, which is the exported. So now we have the full uh, direct uh, directory here the full organized so we can see we have under iPhones we have the year 2016 we have the month I took them in and then we have the project name these would be the raw files uh, right, right straight from the camera these would be the files you select that you like or your clients like then we have the master one which is uh, the edited version of the selected ones so you will have the, the the unedited photos here and then the edited photos here and then you have the uh, exported edited photos right there so now i would have to go here open up this uh, let's just copy this one say this one here command control c i copied that one and i could paste it in here command control v so now you see we have it here as well and then once i uh, this was selected I would cop or move this one to here and then when so let's just do this I selected this one so we're gonna go and paste it in here so now it's here and then we could edit it and then I would save it as a new file once it was done edited here and then when I had exported it or wanted to export the finished edit photo it will end up in here that's where you can organize your photos really nicely and always know where they are again if you like this tutorial please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and leave your comments down below how do you organize your photos and uh, if you like digicam again i highly recommend this program and the search function error i got the crash it's because i have a few files TIFF files that are over uh, 2.5 gigabytes, some are 3, some are almost 4 gigabytes, and the program doesn't handle that. But the good news is they're already working on a fix for it. They answered my ticket, and I've sent them some test files, and they're now working on it. So these guys are great. This is the best, in my opinion, the Forgo Organizer uh, Manager. So I'll see you all next time.